Let's close out with Western Kentucky. The Western Kentucky Hilltoppers went three and nine last year, two and six in conference. They got nine guys back on offense, six back on defense. They uh they got rid of Mike Sanford. I think that guy, after two years, really had no idea what he was doing, what the culture is around that program. Uh, he wasn't a good fit. I mean, he came from Notre Dame. He the guy can coach, but maybe he wasn't meant to be a head coach here. Former Tennessee offensive coordinator Tyson Helton is the new guy. He was the former Western Kentucky offensive coordinator under Jeff Brom. Lots of experience on offense. 10 of 11 starters are upperclassmen. Uh, total offense was number 102 last year, though. Now, this is going to be a, a brand new scheme for this bunch. They're going to throw the ball all over the place. Defensive coordinator Clayton White returns, uh, brings back good experience, especially on the defensive line. Offense put the unit in some really bad spots last year. I mean, that offense was atrocious, absolutely atrocious. Yeah, they're bad. They, they lost four games by three points last year. There is talent here, and a quick, a, a quick fix on offense could mean that they could end up in a bowl game. I think it's going to take a little bit longer for Tyson Helton to be able to get the reins here. Like, I understand, like, I think that he gets where he is, but he's a, he's a newbie. He's a first-time head coach. That takes some getting used to. I've got them the exact same record as they were last year, three and nine, two and six in conference. But I think you see uh, the foundation being built. Okay. I think you see uh, good things, even if the record isn't that great. I think we're going to have some transitional pains, yeah. is, is the way I see this. Um, I think they're going to regress a little bit, but this is one of those situations where you're going to regress and, and you're going to begin to build a foundation. And maybe in three or four years, you begin to see fruits of this. But I don't see them getting better. I mean, I I, I, I see them getting better like wins at the here. end of the year. I give them some coin flip wins or some some coin flip losses, which which they probably can win those. I got them one and eleven, but if they finish two and ten or three and nine, I, I it don't wouldn't surprise you. It doesn't surprise me because I think some of the bad teams that they play, I just think I'm kind of going with coin flip and who they get at home and in that situation, I think. And we'll talk about this. I'm going to kind of sound like a broken record if you listen to all these previews that we do. There is a definition of the haves and the have-nots in every conference. And yeah. those change over years. They've changed a lot. Well, and if, if you make the wrong hire, like Western Kentucky That's did. Right. It, it can set you back and it can set you back for a while. Yeah. And to get back to that Brom stage, I don't know that a guy that coached under him can just walk in and say, here, I'm here, let's fix it. I think you got to find new guys to come in and at some point get those guys to buy into your system or to play better. I, I just don't know that it can be fixed in a year. Yeah. I and think I think a lot of times when you change the head coach over, I, I think it, you, you go backwards before you go forwards. Yes. And that's, I, I agree. I think it, the same record, three and nine, two and six for me, I, that same record, it feels like bottom for Western Kentucky for a fan base that is, uh, so entrenched there. They are so oh, yeah. into that school. They're very passionate. That's right. Um, I think that three and nine is about as bad as it could get. They're, they're, they don't they don't know they're the little guy. They don't like being the little guy. Yeah. I mean so, there was and they're gonna they do whatever push, they were pushing people around. They they fired a guy after two years. Yeah. Like and and he was coming in with a brand new everything, brand new scheme, all the but, but you know but how it I didn't feel fit. about that. I like that. Yeah. As soon as you know you have a losing hand, go ahead. You fold it. Yeah. If you and that's, know and that's this guy can't do it and he ain't your guy, let's just, yep. write him his check and move on down the road. There you go. There you go. All right. So that's going to wrap up. Who uh, you got winning this the thing? Conference USA East. Uh, Florida Atlantic. East. You said that. Yeah. I've got FAU. I've got and Florida I've, Atlantic. And I've got FIU winning it. And so either one of those would not surprise me. I've got well, I've got FIU going seven and one, but I've got them losing to Florida Atlantic. So. Uh, so yeah, that's that's who I've got representing this bunch. You can find out who we think is going to actually win the conference in the next show. All right, we appreciate you guys. Share the show out for us. Remember, betnow.eu. Uh, go to winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe on all the different platforms, YouTube, all the podcasts and whatnot. Leave us a nice review on Apple Podcast. We'll see you next go-round. 
Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.